Welcome back. 25 years ago this week, Leanne Taylor joined News on 6. January 5th, 1998 <laughs> was her first day on 6 in the morning. Leanne brought a camera to work that day <laughs> to take pictures of the milestone. Yep. And she's been sharing snapshots of our world with Oklahomans ever since. Here's a look back at some picture-perfect memories from the past 25 years. We won't keep you waiting any longer. We're going to go now to Rick Wells and his new co-host, Leanne Taylor. Hi. Ah, I'm here. We're here. Yeah, we are. It's great to be here. It's 6 in the morning with Leanne Taylor and Rick Wells. She's even brought her camera. I'm taking pictures of this morning. Guess what? Leanne is here. Welcome to 6 in the morning on this Monday, August the 6th. I'm Leanne Taylor with a look at the top stories for this Wednesday, October 3rd. Topping our news today, Tulsa police are reality of the long job ahead. This news just in, Greyhound. Good morning, everyone. We want to take a moment to update you on the local angle of the attack on America. A very amazing situation under underway. Of course, obviously, across the country, the airports are closed down and uh, no air traffic at all. Oklahomans are doing everything they can to help those affected by the terrorist attacks in New York and in Washington. Is Oklahoma prepared in the event of a biological attack? Governor Keating calls bus services nationally. There's probably a long line of countless young journalists that she has helped. I was one of them before all the gray hair. I was much younger and vibrant. She has stayed the same. She's she is good people. Leanne is one of the rare talents that she has the capability of being able to recognize when it is time to be extremely serious and then at the same time she recognizes when it's okay to relax and it's okay to have a little bit of fun. Birthday. We got Sky and these six back up in the air. We're here at Leanne's house. Glad you're with us. I'm Leanne Taylor. And I'm Rachel McCulley. This is my daughter. She is uh, home from college. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> nice news. I have no idea where she got that from. So. Oh. Over the last few weeks, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed my new hairstyle, and there is a reason for the new do. It feels weird. Back in November, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had surgery in December, and the doctor says they removed all the cancer. But just as a precaution, I am undergoing chemotherapy, and that is taking all my hair. For Leanne, laughter has always been the best medicine. She wants so much to give, and she cares so much about these women. Her phone is open 24-7. She will talk to them. She will answer any questions. <clears throat> I am speechless, which is... <laughs> it's very, very <laughs> rare on the show. As Tess knows, um, the whole thing with the hippo got me all emotional. <laughs> the thing with obviously going through breast cancer on television in front of all of Green Country. But you all have walked d many journeys with me, and I'm very grateful. So we have a little <laughs> cake for us. You know, I'd love to dig in, but you know, we don't want to want to cleanse the palate before the pickle peppermint. Right. So we're just, yeah. This is going to be. The, but we just, you know, wanted to just thank you for Leanne, just for being my friend. I know I can just speak for myself, but I'm sure I can speak for all of us for being our great friend and. 
we just well, it was we really, love being with you every day. It was really funny. Yesterday, I, I happened to go to the movies, and I was looking through social media before I watched the movie and turned my phone off, and all of a sudden, it popped up you and Tess and Alan and Stephen and John. It's all these wonderful comments, and it's just, it's overwhelming. <laughs> um, I, I was telling a friend, I was like, this is all wonderful, but I'm not retiring, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, this is not retirement, because then that would be a whole different kind of deal, but I'm just very grateful for the, for not only only um, the friendships that I made here at work but literally all over green country yeah. and the connections that we have when we're out in the community I always get a kick out of people who say do you get tired of people talking to you when you're out and I'm like no because I must be doing my job right if you feel comfortable enough to talk so I'm very grateful thank you for 25 years that have flown by in a heartbeat and thanks to Mark and the team who put all that video together I wasn't sure I was given a warning but I wasn't given that warning in fact I appreciate Hunter bringing the tissues they're used to that I gave you a warning I said you're gonna need tissues and you said oh I'll be fine yeah I thought, Lee and Taylor yeah, yeah. Cries yeah. Literally. Are you she kidding? cries at the drop of a <laughs> yeah, well, well, I just, I thought I'm prepared for this. I was given a little advance warning and, you know, I mean, I know what to expect, but then all of a sudden it's like, you put my kids on there. Yeah, you see. Yeah. 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 yeah, when he was a baby. Yeah. Thinking oh back to 25 years and just, it's like, you didn't wake up and, and, and just get to 25 right. years. I think, Dave, you actually said that in your it's video. It's just super intentional. You, have, you come to work every day and you made a, a big thing. You know, when you had breast cancer, you did not take that time off of work you have been every intentional every step of the way 25 years i can't even look happen. at you guys i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna lose it again it and we do have to we oh and stephen uh, i was most touched by what you said you know because stephen had options whether to to come to the morning team and do traffic and that's it's a huge adjustment to people's schedules and i'm really grateful you did i i think you're the coolest and <laughs> i love you and dave's conversations about weird star wars stuff <laughs> and so i just kind of sit and listen in or sometimes it's uh, mm -hmm, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't pay any attention sometimes, but thank you for your kind words thank as you. well. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thanks, we guys. love you so much. I'll cut this as soon as we finish Taste Test Tuesday. Oh, yeah. We're still going to do this. It is, right? Pepper, peppermint pickles. We're going to have peppermint sticks inside of pickles. You all did the story when I was on vacation. Yeah, and, and mm. you know how Alan is. Wow. It's like, let's just do it ourselves. Yeah. We, so, can, we can pull this thing off. So right? we'll do that, and then we'll cut the cake. There we go. Bring it on. Here we go.